And we're taking a look at an all too common problem this time of year, kids being injured and even killed in lawnmower accidents. Our consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy is here with more on the surprising dangers that can strike so quickly. And Eli, this is serious stuff. It sure is. And this is the official first week of summer. So we wanted to remind everybody that the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates about 37,000 kids and adults go to the emergency room every year because of some sort of lawnmower accident. Now this morning we want to focus in on one of the worst hazards, riding lawnmowers that keep cutting while going backwards so the driver can't see people, especially children, behind the machine. They are phone calls no parent wants to receive. Ashton, there's been a terrible accident. Unfathomable tragedies. I thought I was the strongest man in the world and could handle anything, but I crumbled like a dry leaf that day. Two families forever changed, all in the lightning speed turn of a lawnmower blade. Four-year-old Preston Lloyd was playing when his grandfather accidentally backed over him with a riding lawnmower. It was touch and go for 32 days and several surgeries, but Preston survived. Eight-year-old Shane Malone didn't. Put it in reverse and I heard the noise. And uh, when, I, when I pulled the mower off top of him, I wasn't faced for what I seen. Darren now has one mission that keeps him going. They're going to come up with some kind of sensor to shut that motor off if it senses anything there. All riding lawnmowers manufactured after September 2004 have a no mow in reverse safety feature which prohibits the blades from cutting while the mower is going backwards. But the millions of older mowers people own don't have that feature and even the newer ones can be disabled. Basically though it's as simple as just pulling this lever out and holding it. That's correct. Ryan Connor of Kensington Lawn and Garden in Maryland showed me the simple override procedures that turn the life-saving feature off. At least one manufacturer does offer an alternative, a key you can remove so that it's not possible to mow in reverse at all. If you attempt to use the reverse lever, the mower will stall. Watch how powerful a riding lawnmower is. During this demonstration, the machine shreds whatever we put in front of it with blades that turn as fast as 220 miles an hour. Now imagine mowing backwards. Part of the challenge is that when you're on one of these mowers, there are blind spots, especially if you have a grass catcher like this. Watch, if I turn to look, I can't see that there's something behind me, but there is. Those buckets represent a small child. Do you want people to mow in reverse? We do not. Why? If you're mowing in reverse, it's not in your natural sight line. Chris Kaiser represents mower manufacturers and says consumers demand the option. Why even allow it? Better to have a safety device installed on the machine, allowing it to happen, as opposed to having a consumer disable the machine or alter the machine in a way that they can do it uh, without a bypass. But some argue there is no need to mow backwards with today's mowers because they can turn on a dime. Oh, good job. That was all you, buddy. As for Preston, a year after his accident, he faces more surgeries, but he's as full of energy as any five-year-old. He is just um, the most determined little guy. And his dad is determined, too. Determined to completely eliminate the option of mowing in reverse. And George, there are also safety concerns when push mowers are misused. A couple of safety features that people sometimes try to disable. I mean, there are entire forums on the internet that I found where people try to teach each but other how to, how to, to disable it. these things. So this is here for a reason. So if I fall or otherwise let go of the handle, that springs free and the regulation says the mower has to stop cutting within three seconds. Very important. This area has been built up on mowers, sort of the rear deck, and the whole point of that is to keep your feet further away from the, mm -hmm. where the blade actually is. So you need to keep this on here. Never take this back section off. And then what are some other rules of thumb just generally for lawnmower safety? Well, biggest one of all, don't mow when kids are around. Kids should be in the house, preferably supervised by another adult so you know that they're going to stay in the house. You also don't want to have kids, you know, as your helpers, with a push mower or riding on a riding lawnmower, they are not toys. And for that matter, it drives me crazy that we have lawnmower toys. Completely the wrong message. There are plenty of other mm -hmm. fun toys. You also need to make sure that you get rid of any debris, rocks, wires, that kind of thing, that the mower can kick up and hurt
hurt you as you're operating the machine. And finally, you need to wear sturdy shoes, no flip-flops. You need to be in sneakers, work boots, that sort of thing to keep yourself safe. Okay, Elizabeth Lini, thanks very much. Just real quickly, is the government considering just banning these, this feature where you can have it overridden? So far, no. So okay. far, no. Elizabeth Lini, thanks very much. You can get a lot more on our website at abcnews.com slash GMA.